What's up guys? Here is my workout of the day at Apex Human Performance and it was a tough one. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I've been doing a lot more functional training uh, just to kind of switch it up mainly and then also to be a well-rounded athlete. Um, I think that being a bodybuilder has been amazing, but I'm really lacking um, just some different techniques and different ways my body moves and I don't want to ever be stuck in like one category I realize so it's been really fun and I realize I am not good at functional training it's actually really hard anyways enough chatting here we go here is one of the circuits we did um please don't troll my kettlebell swings I know they need work um but it was a kettlebell snatches so you're going to do three right and then you're going to do three push-ups on the kettlebell right and left and then you're going to go back right up into the left side then you're going to go into rocking hollows uh, which is for the course you want to round that back um look at austin he is a lot better at this i would say um but yeah so what you're going to do is do the three snatches right one two up three three and then you're going to put it down and do push up three here and then jump to the left one two three and then hop up and go right into that left side do three there and then you're going to do the push-ups right after this um, and then go ahead and again go into that rocking hollow keeping your core really 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 tight um, trying to tap your hands on the back um, of the floor and keeping the core again really really engaged and keeping your legs as straight as you can and upper back as rounded as you can you want to think of each vertebrae uh trying to hit the floor um so you're gonna again go through this three times no actually we did it five times five times this and then we're gonna move on to the next circuit and <laughs> It is a struggle by the fifth set, but I can tell you that it's going to be an extremely good workout. Um, so again, do this five times and move on to the next circuit. Alrighty, next thing we're doing is ring push-ups, but if you guys don't have a ring at your gym, you can just go ahead and do normal push-ups on the ground. Um, it'll be similar definitely similar these are harder so if you guys have like a trx band you can actually use that the lower the rings are the harder it is um so you're going to do 10 push-ups on the rings and then you're going to do five rows with the rings or the trx bands uh you're going to hold for 10 seconds at the top and if you want to make it harder put a resistance band around your waist and have someone pull down on you for 10 seconds while you hold it really engage the lats upper back everything core tight and you're going to run through that four times uh, the next circuit here you're going to do a run so you're going to run 200 meters you're going to come back and you're going to do a little bit of a squat to press with either kettlebells or dumbbells um, you're going to do 10 each side and then you're going to do 15 kettlebell swings um, you're going to go through this three times <laughs> Still went on without JFK, but you can bet that when he got shot, people felt a huge loss. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's November 8th. It's Thursday. I'm vlogging today. We have a lot going on, so I figured I'd take you along the ride. It's currently 11 o'clock. I just finished my workout session with Austin at Apex. <sighs> you guys, he kicks my butt, and the reason why is he's not bodybuilding based he's more functional training based and that to me is so new like i'm struggling doing these awkward presses and it's insane so i love a good challenge and that is going to be one of my goals is to get a little more well-rounded um you guys know i've been doing a lot of hit but now i want to do like everything so more functional training so that i can be the best athlete 
I can be. If you guys want to see the workouts that we've been doing, I've been posting them on my Instagram and they're really killer. So good luck with that. I do that like twice a week now, so that's been really fun. Um, but anyways, I'm getting off track here. Rewind. What's up? I'm going to Target because your girl needs some dry shampoo. Dry shampoo is life, as you guys know. I need to go get that. A couple other things, which sucks. I mean, I wouldn't be going to the store right now if I didn't need dry shampoo. So that is the sucky part. But I need it, so I need to go. I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to take you along what we're doing. Um, it's a big day today for us, uh, for balance. So I'm going to take you guys along the ride with that. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good day. But good morning. Happy Thursday. I don't know when you guys are watching this right now, but have a beautiful day and let's get it going. Okay guys, we're here with the big announcement. We're moving out of our space today. <laughs> it's empty. Wow, you guys. Is that a new Sherpa? Big moves. It's a new Sherpa. Got it from Target. What's up? Look. We left town and Chloe and Ari decided to have me watch over them as they package orders. <laughs> that's amazing, guys. Wow, that's my passport photo. That's embarrassing. Anyways, this is our, well, was our tiny, tiny space. What, 400 square foot? I don't even know if it's that. It's like 300, maybe. Who and knows? we've been operating out of this spot for two, three months. Three months. It was time. We were like chomping on the bit to get a new space and we did and we can't wait to show you guys. It's gonna be awesome. As you can tell, the boys have been moving stuff all morning. This is their it's second trip. And uh, this is the little U-Haul, second trip. So, we are going to take you guys to the new space. It's um, amazing, like I'm in love with it. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. Making moves. Can't believe that we're here um, at this point, and we're super grateful, super happy for it. So yeah, yay! Let's go show you the new space, hey guys. So I wanted to come on here and talk about like the stepping stones that we're taking in our business, and yeah, I'm super grateful for the growth we've endured this past two months like we launched the 27th of July and we already have our full-time staff and moving into a like a headquarters space that's amazing but I can say we're nowhere near where I want us to be um, so it's amazing like you should definitely celebrate your milestones I guess you can say but definitely don't get caught up in having the feeling of the fact that you're making it because truth is like I still am super critical of where we are and I still know that we can improve in so many areas and that's the great the greatest part about owning a business is realizing your flaws and trying to be better every single day and trying to make the business better than it was yesterday so I'm super grateful and super happy for this next step, but I want to also come on here and say that no matter the milestone that you have hit in your life, in your career, relationships, whatever, just know that there can be more to it. Like to me, we have, we definitely haven't made it and we won't make it for a long time. If not, you know, ever, as long as we keep holding us to these high standards. So, um, yeah, I just want to come on here and say I'm super grateful for this space. Like, it's definitely the next step, and I'm super happy. But also, like, get ready because this is not even close to what balance is going to become. The vision that we have for balance is insane. Like, we don't want to just be a clothing company. We are a brand. Um, we want to change lives. We want to empower men and women. Uh, with not only clothes, but just having a feeling, a sense of, sorry, Steve's calling me, having a sense of belonging and having a sense of vulnerability that the people that do represent balance and the people that do wear balance, like we are all on the same page in terms of how we, I guess how we feel, like in terms of having a balanced lifestyle. But uh, balance to us means 
not having a set end goal in terms of physique, but having a balanced lifestyle in terms of having a healthy lifestyle, going out to eat with friends, having a great time, but treating your or fueling your body well with nutrients and treating your body right by working out and being healthy but also having the mentality to not be afraid to have that balance and go have ice cream or whatever and having a balanced lifestyle with work and play and all of that that is what balance means to us we are not just a clothing line or a clothing brand we want to change people's lives we want to help open their eyes that living a balanced lifestyle can truly make someone happy and not focusing on just one area of your life like work or physique goal or a relationship like being balanced in all areas i feel like is what's going to make a person happy i mean at least that's how i feel and that's how a lot of people feel um and Again, I don't have all the wisdom in the world and nor do I cl will ever claim to, but I know that this is just a very small stepping stone as to what we are going to become as a, as a company. And I'm so excited because God's placed all the right people in our lives and in balance that it's working cohesively in ways that I didn't even believe. Like when things are meant to happen, they will happen in a way that is just like, magical so it's hard freaking work of course owning your own business but i can't sit here and say like oh yeah we've made it because we have not and we still have so much to learn so much to grow from and all of that so i just wanted to come in here and uh talk to you guys while i have time which is a crazy day but i'm glad i got to sit here and talk to you guys and hopefully i don't know you got something out of this talk uh, but I am going to get off the vlog now because I'm following Steven in the U-Haul trying to make his life a little easier and Yeah, we're gonna be in this space in like 10 minutes and I'll show you guys then Hello Hi. Oh We got a working lady over here Hi Thanks this is a different shirt, but I, like that one <laughs> I know it's cuter. <laughs> it's, I'm not taking a picture. I'm zooming in. Guys, this is my best modeling face to date, and it took years. Chloe can do one really good. Do it. What? <laughs> That's it I'll right show there. you later. I get embarrassed. Don't put me on the spot. <laughs> Welcome to our HQ. Woo! Okay, I'm going to show you our beautiful space. So much light. It's all white and bright and spacious. It's amazing. But obviously we just moved in today, so it's not decorated or anything fancy, but I thought I would show you guys the space. Here we go. Okay, so you walk in. We decided to do all of the inventory here. Um, and then our packing station is gonna be over there. Right here, we're gonna have obviously the printer, we're gonna have a coffee station, a mini fridge, and then it's gonna flow back here. We're gonna do a big long mirror here. We're gonna do a, hopefully a couch and two chairs here. And then on the back, we want like a big shrubbery wall, maybe some balance pictures. Uh, we got all of our desks here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and yeah. This is our space. We love it. Yay. Just got home really fast because I need to exfoliate for my spray tan, which I'll, Lily's barking again because I'm vlogging, of course. But uh, I'll show, I'll introduce you guys to my spray tan gal here in Denver. But I want to show you guys my outfit because this Sherpa, guys, is from Target. Let me tell you. Cutest thing ever. Probably gonna wear it every day. It's fine. Okay, gotta go shower. Don't have much time. Let's go. <laughs> We're getting champagne and spray tans. <laughs> That's not funny. What's up, YouTube? <laughs> no. Spray tanned all up with my homeboy, and I won't show his face because he's embarrassed. 
first is a first timer. <laughs> Anyways. That's um, not cool. Got a spray tan. It's obviously very dark right now because I have the bronzer on and tomorrow is when I'll wash off the bronzer and it'll be better. But yeah, so spray tan is done. We went home, ate. Now we're gonna go grab beer and go to the place and finish unpacking the HQ. <laughs> Woo! That's what I was going for. Champagne <laughs> pop, <and> baby. Okay. <laughs> Steve, people you might want to move. People seriously lose their eye. I ain't gonna do that. Do that. She's doing it, just in case you guys want to see. Do so you yeah. want to record this? Or? I'm a little nervous. Well, I'm recording it on this, but we can do iPhone as well. Ready? Just push and her off. Oh, it's inside, huh? It's inside the chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did that's, you open your chair with the components in it? That's some Swedish. It was, it was in here. That's some Swedish engineering. That's nice. What are you guys building over here? We got boxes. Some boxes. Little cubby boxes. Yeah, our yeah. cubbies. Some <laughs> Tell you tubby cubbies. She said, "Yep." Telly Tubby Cubby Station. Well, hopefully this focuses on me face. My very tan face. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Please be sure to like and subscribe down below so that I know what videos you guys like best. But I hope you guys did enjoy this one. It was definitely a milestone type vlog plus a really killer workout. So... Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Seriously, I feel like we are very close friends because I'm very vulnerable vulnerable on YouTube. So, um, yeah, I just feel very close to you guys. And I just want to let you guys know that I really do appreciate every single one of you um, who comments, who likes, uh, any of that. So it never goes unnoticed. Um, you guys may, You guys are bright lights in my life for sure. So anyways, just wanted to say that. Love you guys so much. I'll see you in the next one.